So PlayStation has been pretty quiet recently along with pretty much every video game company, but that all changed earlier this morning because PlayStation VR 2 finally got fully unveiled. We have a price point, we have the official release date, we have games coming to the system, and there's a lot of stuff to go over. So we're just going to jump straight into it. If this is your first time here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. But let's talk about what's going on with PlayStation VR 2 and what some of the problems are going to be. So PlayStation VR 2 is officially launching on February 22nd of 2023. So February is quickly becoming an insane month for video games. I don't think I've seen such a heavy first three months of video games in quite a while. So it's definitely something very exciting and very cool. We have our system here. We could take a look at it. Of course, you have to have the PS5 with it. Got your little hand stuff going on there. Only one cable, definitely a lot cleaner and sleeker than the original one. And then we have the price point. It is going to be $550 just for the system. Yes, folks, that is more expensive than the PlayStation 5 currently is. You would get the PSVR2 headset, the PSVR2 Sense controllers, and stereo headphones. Now, there is indeed a bundle. This is what most people will probably want to pick up that includes the Horizon Call of the Mountain game. Now, this was something that a lot of people were wondering, was it just going to be a pack-in game straight out of the gate? How much was it going to cost? This, that, and the other. It seems like these games are still going to be premium priced games because this bundle is coming in at $599.99. So $600 to get yourself a game with the PlayStation VR 2. Now, they also have a charging dock because you got to charge a thing up sometimes. You can get this for $50. It can charge the controller through a simple click and design without having to connect to a PlayStation 5 controller, bring up the console's USB ports. They are going to be opening up pre-orders for the software later on this month, along with this Sense thing and of course the system itself um there's obviously you know a bunch of tech specs for this if you don't really understand vr like the actual schematics behind it like me then this this really means nothing to you i have an oculus um quest 2 right now obviously this is much better in terms of technology a much better resolution and refresh rate so i think the technology behind this is honestly really awesome and i think it's going to be really well done but of course technology all that sort of stuff none of that really matters unless you have games backing this up they've announced that 11 new psvr2 games will be coming the dark picture switchback vr cities vr enhanced edition crossfire sierra squad and much more so they have some videos of some of these games as well you could see that our dark picture switchback it's pretty much like the original game on the PlayStation VR was kind of a technical showpiece for how these games are going to look, how they're going to play and stuff like that. It's a roller coaster style game where you're on a fixed plane, you know, looking around, shooting and stuff. It does look pretty graphically you know decent it's obviously something that you have to experience while wearing a headset but i think it's a decent start you know it's something that will launch alongside of the system to sort of showcase it off a bit moving along we have crossfire sierra squad with a first look everyone loves you know military shooters i i know i'm a i'm a sucker for them i think this actually looks kind of neat you know i like kind of the aesthetic they've got going on since everyone will be using vr obviously if there is online multiplayer which i'm not even sure if there is um let's see here they talk a lot about intelligence npcs co-op teams first person shooter global leaderboard so it doesn't look like there's actually any peer versus peer multiplayer once again probably just another technical showcase for the system but i think this game actually looks pretty good graphically wise the Light Brigade, which is a roguelike experience, once again, from a first-person perspective. You know, looking at this game versus our, our little military shooter, there's obviously a, a pretty sizable difference in the graphical quality of the game. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure the game itself will be fun. It just looks kind of has a different aesthetic than um, our military shooter does. But, hey, you know, that's fine. Different strokes for different folks. Cities VR. You make a, you make a city in virtual reality i mean that's kind of neat you gotta drag it like i don't see 
even if the controls and the hand motions are like completely spot on i don't see how it's going to be easier to play this game and create your city than it would be just using a mouse and keyboard or even a controller but i could be wrong and i'm sure the whole fact that it's in vr it obviously gives it a different perspective it's obviously going to feel a lot different than these other sort of city and theme park and world creation simulator games that we get but it is interesting to see that the i guess the quality of the controls the precision of the controls they're banking on it being pretty high cosmonius high um looks different look looks kind of different looks kind of fun maybe a bit for for a younger audience there's veggie nugs though so obviously they're trying to get that weirdo current humor that's going on i don't understand the whole chicken nuggies baby yoda obsession but that's what it's here and this game looks to scratch that itch Hello Neighbor hits first person with the v Hello Neighbor enters the VR sphere with Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue. You know, it's a Hello Neighbor game. Get into the guy's house. Find out what creepy things he's doing. I mean, really, it's a breaking and entering simulator when you really boil it down. And I don't know how I feel about that because you shouldn't break and enter into people's houses. And when you do, I mean, you get what you deserve. And obviously, this, this dude is going to get what he deserves. You know, just just call the cops or something. I mean, take you can take stuff into your own hands. There's nothing wrong with that. But there are, you know, there are things that happen because of it. Jurassic World Aftermath. We talked about this as coming to the Nintendo Switch very soon. I'm kind of excited to play it on the Switch. That'll also be coming in VR. We have Pistol Whip because what's a VR system without games that involve you know pistols and guns like that's what makes these games sort of interesting because of that sort of level of immersion obviously this is much more of a over-the-top sort of run and gun shooter zenith the last city which is originally a playstation vr game that's now i guess a bit enhanced for playstation vr 2 because there is no backwards compatibility i know that was a big thing um okay i mean i don't know if this game has an audience or whatever like let's be real the playstation vr didn't really like the world on fire in terms of sales so i don't know how many people are playing this game or going to be excited for this game but hey it's coming to playstation vr this game i think actually looks pretty cool it's coming in 2023 it's called after the fall it's a co-op shooter set in a post-apocalyptic los angeles which i mean really is there any difference between apocalyptic or current los angeles versus post-apocalyptic i mean LA sucks but this looks kind of interesting once again another first person shooter style game you're gonna see a lot of these on PlayStation VR just because of that immersion factor and that's what people seem to like with this our hentai friends could get tentacular um you're a big tentacle trying to figure out its place in the world you know looks like one of those physics based simulation style games it's very over the top you're this big octopus octopi or maybe you're just a set of tentacles i don't even really know to be honest with you it's 2022 who am i to judge and assume things so those were the games that were announced and i think many people are going to have two questions about this whole thing the price point and where's the killer app i'm guessing horizon is supposed to be the killer app for it and i guess you could definitely make a case for that it has a lot of name brand notoriety it of course is a very well-known franchise and it does look to be a bit more advanced at least graphically speaking than some of these games but i would have liked to have seen something that we weren't aware about something that you know was obviously brand new design from the ground up for playstation vr 2 but i think the biggest you know confusion and questions that are going to come for this are the price point 550 dollars for the base system more than the playstation 5 cost it's an uphill battle for this i'm going to buy this because i like you know new stuff i like technology i like you know vr i think vr can be very fun as small experiences not something to replace your you know sitting on the couch and experiencing a game but as a small experience vr can be very fun i just don't know how many people are going to be willing to drop you know 550 or 600 dollars to get horizon and how many people are actually going to adopt this system because let's be realistic it's still tricky to get your hands on a playstation 5 now you're introducing something into the ecosphere of the playstation 5 that costs more than all the systems do and you still have to buy games for it and stuff you know this economy it's rough man people are definitely penny pinching nowadays and they're not wanting to spend 
you know spend money on stuff that might not be a runaway success obviously sony is going to have to foot a lot of the bill with these developers to get them to put their games on playstation vr 2 the technology seems very impressive it's just how is it actually going to be utilized? You know, is Sony going to give up on this pretty quickly? You know, why is that there an update for games like that have already released on PlayStation, such as like Gran Turismo 7? Like, I'm surprised there wasn't a, you know, update that VR is coming to that. They could have showcased that, maybe breathe some life back into that game. But it's definitely an uphill battle for Sony. I'll be picking one up, but I want to know if you're going to buy one. So let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, hit the bell notification as well. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.